Hey guys, what I'm going to talk about today is the Send Dolphin Aruba 10 kayak. And what this is, it's a cheap kayak for beginner kayakers, intermediate. And this is just a few modifications that I've done to mine to kind of help you out. Um, I have it set up for both fishing and camping. Now it's a cheap kayak, I think Walmart sells it $250. And I went to Royal King, out the door, paid $180. Depends on how uh, fast you want, I think. If you want to wait till Christmas, they have it for about $150. Now, first thing that we're looking at right here is the bungee cord that I added on here. I put dry bags on here, and yes, I added a five pound dumbbell as my anchor. Attach it to some 550 cord. Also added these cleats so I can get all the cord out of the way, make it a little bit more cleaner, and uh, tied it up with a carabiner. I've already been in some water that's kind of rough on the lake, and uh, I've had to drop it once, so. Also added a fishing rod holder and I have the fishing rod actually attached to two carabiners there. Learned the hard way, it was out in rough water, bought a brand new fishing pole, never even used it. Turned around to grab it, completely gone. Not gonna happen again. Comes with a uh, storage capacity unit in the back. If you've seen it already stock, I wish I didn't already cut it out, I would've made a video before that. This is my first YouTube video. Uh, it's about the size of glove box and they say it's waterproof nowhere near is a waterproof a little bit water resistant and here's a few tricks to kind of help with that um, in the back here it actually has a couple little rivets on the bottom if you grab these and uh, turn it in for both the back keeps it holding down tighter kind of helps with the water this is what I also did is I got a ziplock bag cut it put some gorilla tape on there after I have everything in there now what I have in here already is my sleeping bag and a dry bag up in the front obviously you need your life jacket in case you get pulled over whatever you need in case you flip over um, I've got a four-person tent already in here a fold-out chair a 9 by 13 foot tarp I've got extra wires I have my stove unit in here the only thing that I don't have is our food when we go camping to the Everglades in about a month. I'll make a video for that too. Um, which we're just going to take some top ramen soup. Obviously you need water. It's still going to add some weight. And uh, some clothes. But. Let me show you here. When you buy it. This is all closed in. I cut this over and just get a Dremel tool. You can use the whole back end. I haven't even used this area right here. Everything's already kind of towards the front of the seat. Now I'll take it out for you. Um, here, this is actually my stove, right here. Go to Walmart, $25, the stove is right here. This is the gas for it. I haven't used it at all. I'll probably get one more gas just in case because we're going to do a two night, three day in the Everglades. And whatever you have, you're stuck with. More Gorilla Tape, always need that. Uh, tools, in case I need to fix anything. Who knows? Here's the tarp, I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, and that's for the moisture, whatever I need. Um, or, you know, even if we get stuck out in the middle of the water, hopefully we could put that over there in case we can't paddle out to an island. And more cords. I still need to get the pots and pans. They're small ones, they fold up. Right here on the side is my tent. Couldn't get it any farther back because I have the fishing rod holder there. But it slides out. It's a seven by seven, four person. It's pretty good. And in the side here, I have it slid back, is my fold-out chair. Sorry for all the close-ups, trying to get it out. All of this fits in, no problem. Just a few more things. Um, like I said, I'm six foot. I've got plenty of room. This is the dry bag. A sleeping bag in it. And instead of getting a mat, one of those like pool inflatable rafts, that's about $2 at Walmart, and that's what I'm going to end up taking with me to sleep on. So, yeah, overall, love the kayak. You can do whatever you want with it. It takes about maybe an hour and a half, two hours to do everything, and that's attaching the cords, fishing rod holder, cutting out the storage, and, I mean, obviously you can do whatever you want with it. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it, and I'll make another video as long as you guys like this out on the water.